flight textbook in english for class 10 i am explaining the first poem of third unit how to tell wild animals by carolyn wills this humorous poem suggests some dangerous ways to identify or tell wild animals read it aloud keeping to a strong and regular rhythm yes really it is a quite humorous poem because it tells how we can recognize one or another wild animal if ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion yes now first line tells if by chance you enter in the jungle especially in the east side and if by chance you are encountered with a large and yellow brownish colored animal if he starts roaring at you and you are just about to die then you should be very clear that you are coming across the asian lion just notice if he eats you the simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger to discern yes now the poet says if by chance sometime means if by chance any time you are just roaming moving in a stroll in a leisure manner then if at that time one wild beast beast means animal comes to you he may be very noble but he will be with yellow background and black stripes then if he starts eating you that simple rule will tell that it is bengal tiger that you have to identify yes it is quite humorous that the poet is just describing that we have to understand one or another animal because of his physical qualities and his special traits yes now in the third stanza the poet says if strolling forth a beast you view whose hide with spots is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard it will do no good to roar with pain he will only leap and leap again again in the third stanza he says if you are moving forward and forward if you view if you by chance check one another animal whose skin is covered with spots and he starts leaping jumping on you then it should be very clear that it is the leopard and there is no use to roar with pain roar with pain means you shouldn't cry because he will jump on you again and again then you have to understand that it is leopard now in the fourth stanza the poet says if when you are walking round your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more caress then the poet says if you are walking just in your yard yard stands for in your just living place means in within some steps where you are residing at that time one creature may come there who starts embracing you very very hard then it is very sure it is a bear i guess means the poet is saying if you have any doubt then he will give one or another embraces again and again then it should be clear to you that it is just one bear now in the next stanza the poet says though to distinguish beasts of prey a novice might non plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hina gulls hinas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles the poet says if you have one problem although to differentiate the beasts of prey the animals of hunt a novice novice means one unaware person 
one new goer in the jungle may be confused because he may think which can be crocodile which can be hyena so poet is just explaining the crocodile every time has tears in his eyes you can guess if they weep they are crocodiles but hyenas every time are with their happy smiles so there is nice distinction now next stanza <coughs> the poet says the true chameleon is small a lizard sort of thing he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree it is the chameleon you see the poet is saying a true chameleon is every time small but it comes under the family of lizard it is one kind of lizard in looking he hasn't any ear and he does not have any wing but every time it rests on the tree if by chance there is nothing on the tree then you can just understand that it is chameleon so it is understood when chameleon is there then there can't be any other bird or creature there now textual questions first one does dime really rhyme with line can you guess say it in such a way that it does no it does not really rhyme with line but g is deleted it is called poetic license they can take liberties with their language while writing a poetry to give us nice melody that's why g is deleted now we have to pronounce like dine line now second question how does the poet suggest that you identify the line and the tiger when can you do so according to him the poet suggests if by chance one animal is very large and tawny colored and he starts roaring and we are just out of breath it is understood that it is lion and when we meet one animal with black stripes on a yellow ground and it starts just eating you then it is tiger means the poet wants to say every animal has special physical trait and special movement or action to be easily distinguished by a person now third question do you think that the words left and left in the third stanza are spelled correctly why does the poet spell them like this no both of these words are not spelled correctly because first word is taken from leap left left l e a p leap means jump now second form should be l e a p t but the poet has just deleted a now left stands for just jumping and it should be leap again but it is matched with leopard these words are changed to be related to the leopard in this way one poetry can be more melodious and can be more related to the topic now fourth question do you know what a bear hug is is uh, it's a friendly strong hug such as bears are thought to give as they attack you again hyenas are thought to laugh and crocodiles to weep crocodile tears are very commonly described here or there as they swallow their victims are there similar expressions and popular ideas about wild animals in your own languages yes there are many expressions and popular ideas because we differentiate all these animals due to their special features that they carry and they have to do like this to get their prey in an easy manner and bear every time gives hug to kill to attack only crocodiles don't weep 
rather it is their special tech to hunt it is said likewise and hinas are every time with their happy smiles but they are not smiling rather they want their hunt quickly now fifth question look at the line unwise might non plus how would you write this correctly why is the poets in correct line better in the poem yes a novice is actually used for new learner beginner non plus means confused uh, the poet could have said easily one unaware person one new person who has never entered in a jungle but the poet has used this to give us one special figure of speech that is alliteration no non plus no wise non plus so it should be written one unaware or one quiet person if by chance enters in a jungle the poet's incorrect line becomes better in the poem because he has used this special alliteration to make his poem melodious now sixth question can you find other examples of poets taking liberties with language either in english or in Uh, your own languages can you find examples of humorous poems in your languages yes there are unlimited examples of poets taking liberties with language uh, yes in the last syllabus of ninth there was one poem by american poetess who used amalgam a m a l g a m it should be that is the solid material to fill the cavities in the teeth but the poetess has used a m a l g u m to match with gum word as the poet was really related to teeth and gum there are many other examples that become quite humorous now seventh question much of the humor in the poem arises from the way language is used although the ideas are funny as well if there are particular lines in the poem that you especially like share these with the class speaking briefly about what it is about the ideas or the language that you like or find funny yes there is a great humor in this poem otherwise all the things are quite clear to us that wild animals are very special because of their special physical features and their movements and their actions and we can well understand if we go in a jungle we will meet one or another beast but the poet has written this humorous poem to tell that every species every creature is quite unique we should never forget yes there are many lines almost in all the stanzas there are humorous lines to relate but i think the best two lines are if you have any doubts he will give you just one more caress and next two lines may be hinas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles <laughs>